Hey guys, welcome back. This week I'll be reviewing the Helinox Chair 1. It's a lightweight, compact backpacking and camping chair ideal for short trips. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up and why I feel it's the best option to pack out to the backcountry. Hey guys, so this is the Helinox Chair 1 comes in a really small package. It's actually right about the same size as a bottle of wine. You can see that it uh, packs up small in this zippered pouch. Uh, the pouch that it comes with is great. It's got lots of uh, hoop attachments so you can, you can uh, clip this right to your backpack. Um, I often uh, put it right on the bottom and strap it to the bottom, but it's small enough you can fit it right inside most bigger packs. Now inside the pouch, there's two pieces. There's the chair itself and there are the poles and the poles are all one piece assembly and they snap together really simple very much like a tent would in terms of uh, how the poles fit together that's it this is a simple mesh backing it's a uh, strong nylon and it's got four reinforced corners for attaching to these poles so they literally, each of the four slips right inside these four rods and that's it. There's the Helinox Chair 1 and I'll tell you what I really like about it. Uh, Helinox manufactures some um, outdoor furniture and you can buy it this thing just in about any retailer in North America. And for the review today, we'll talk about five basic things. Uh, comfort, durability, portability, ease of setup, which you saw took less than 20 seconds, and value. Now for comfort, uh, this chair offers a lot more back support than most ground level chairs. It has a well-vented back panel that keeps you cool, and it feels less like a hammock than some of these chairs that kind of hug you in. Um, it's angled reasonably upright, so you don't feel like you're uh, straining your neck forward when you're sitting in it. It doesn't uh, recline you back at a great angle. So it makes it a lot easier to get out of than similar portable chairs, uh, despite the fact that it's only about 10 inches above the ground. Now durability, uh, this is light mesh fabric, has reinforced corners, and it's made out of UV resistant 600 weave ripstop poly, and it's fully machine washable. It supports 320 pound capacity for a maximum strength to weight ratio in its category. Uh, these legs can sink into soft ground, but you can buy an optional ground sheet that they attach into that helps distribute the weight more evenly and prevent from sinking. I usually just use a couple pieces of wood or some rocks. Now the stuff sack holds up to most conditions outside of your pack. Um, this thing's never ripped or damaged while I'm, uh, while I'm hiking around. And the chair itself is backed by a five-year warranty. Now portability, we already talked about. The chair itself weighs just under two pounds assembled and just over two pounds packed. It packs down easy into a zippered pouch. Um, you saw about the size of a wine bottle. Easily fits in my backpack or I can lash it to the bottom. Um, and also there's an ultra light option that Helinox offers, the Chair Zero, and it's about half the weight of this chair, but I find that uh, it sacrifices height and width, so it's a lot less durable and a lot less comfortable to get that one pound of weight savings. So I find this is perfect for my front country trips or stashing in the trunk of your car, and it's not unreasonable. I've, I've taken it out for short backcountry trips as well. At the two pounds, uh, I add that to my base weight for a lot of comfort. The ease of setup, I mean, you saw the two-piece construction, uh, the internal uh, tent-like poles, the mesh backing uh, with the reinforced corners. Uh, this thing, it, it, it disassembles just as easily as it assembles. So it folds back up. You know, this thing doesn't fold neatly with those reinforced corners, but I find you fold it up and it stuffs, there's a lot of room in the stuff sack. You have no trouble putting this thing away. Now value, this is one of the more expensive chairs on the market. There are a lot of similar knockoffs that you can buy that look just like the Helinox chair. And I've tested some of those and I've found that 
they're not quite as good. They don't stand up as long. I find they're not as durable. They look similar and you can save a little bit of money. And if that's a deciding factor is value, you might want to look at other options. But I find that this is the overall the best choice for backpacking. So hey guys, that's it for this week. If you have any questions about the Helinox Chair 1, leave them down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. I'll get back to you. Or reach out on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. So until next week, I'll see you guys on the trail. It's Papa Steve on the move.